Hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday. I'm your host Tim Kant and this time I'm going to be taking the hiss with five of the smoothest Deessa plugins around. That's right guys, with every S you take I'll be dynamically equalizing you or compressing you, whatever. Let's just look at some plugins. Weiss DS, Weiss not DS at 5. Zills Lab DS is tinkling away at 4. Aero DSA Pro is more than just a knob at 3. Pro DS is blowing off steam at 2. And Aero 4 DSA is the people's champ at number 1. At 5, Weiss DS by Softube. With two bands of DSing a modelled off a respected hardware processor, this one is for those out there who absolutely demand truly analog style DSing. The compression algorithms used in Weiss DS were taken from Softube's Weiss DS1 Mark III compressor plugin, and you also get advanced controls such as latency and sidechain tweaking, plus attack and release ratio knee and makeup for each of the two bands. Truly a mastering DSer for the masters. So Weiss DS is kind of like a boutique little DSA plugin. It's got a regular price of 170 quid. So I would recommend trying out the demo version uh, to really get a full idea of it because we're just gonna take a little peek at it now. Um, what we have here is an audio example with some sibilance. I'm gonna bypass it so we can hear it. Suck the sibilance sausage. A little bit of sibilance there. Let's see what we can do with the plugin. Here's how it sounds. Suck the sibilance sausage. And what we can do is we can solo each of these bands. So what we can do is we can try and locate the problem areas. Let's try this one first. Okay, so I can change the frequency up here. I can change the width down here. Oh, there we go. So this is the area that we're gonna be affecting. We can control the range as well. Let's have that nice and wide. And then what we can do is we can control the threshold to affect the amount of that harsh region that we've found in the output signal. Let's take a listen. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. So Suck there you go, the not sibilant. very subtle, but you get the idea. And the other band, basically the same deal. Let's solo it, it's in a high pass mode, which the other one doesn't have. So let's use it for the high end. Yeah, that's, that should sausage. do. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. So there we go. Let's have it dry and then wet. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. So there you go. A quick and lovely way to dehash your sounds. At four, Zills DS by Zills Lab. This one doesn't just clamp down on sibilant signals. It separates them from the wanted voice signal and gives you some handy mixing options to boot. Once you've used the high pass filter and plosive detector to locate the sibilance, you can then use the reduction parameter to dial in your perfect mix and quality to determine the speed of the processing. You can also treat the voiced and sibilance signals individually using analog style EQ settings with filter type, frequency, gain and resonance controls. I'm just quickly going to explain how Zill's DS works, or Zill's D's as I feel like it should really be called. So first thing you do is uh, you detect your sibilance, so let's do that by soloing this part. I mean there should do it really, shouldn't it? Um, and then we're going to locate the plosives, which is the kind of low stuff here with this XY pad. Let's do that now. Suck the I think we've detected that. So now um, we can listen to the low part and the high part that we've just split up here. So we'll go for this. Suck the sibilant sausage. That's the, the places. And Suck here's the sibilance. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. And if we uh, unsay them, we hear them together and it sounds like normal speaking. Suck the sibilant sausage. And then you can uh, mix, mix in. Uh, and out the sibilance with the reduction knob. Suck the sibilance sausage. Suck the sibilance sausage. Suck the sibilance. And then there's a bunch of other stuff you can do, like the quality is a kind of speed thing, and you've got all these EQs and filters and stuff here. But that's the main crux of it, guys. So yeah, kind of a kind of classic effort from uh, Zill's Lab there. The three error DSA Pro by Acusonus. 
The unsurprising big daddy of Acusonus standard DSR plugin, which happens to be at number one in this list, Aero DSR Pro is the deluxe option, and it's the priciest in this roundup, coming in currently at 235 squid. Like the cheaper version, DSA Pro has one knob operation, detecting and removing S sounds without you having to do very much. But in this version, you can go much further with your war on sibilance, thanks to the focus and shape controls that help you hone in on problem areas. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this DSA Pro now, and I'm gonna show you the regular version later. So if you could kind of like, you know, forget everything between now and then, that'd be great. Let's take a quick look at this now. Uh, it's basically one knob plug-in, the same as the regular version. We'll look at that. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. Ooh. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. So to totally unprocessed. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. You know, getting into that range where it might be the sweet spot. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. And then there, you know, clearly it's becoming almost inaudible. Uh, let's look at the uh, extra controls that the Pro version provides. We'll start with the focus. It's uh, got an audition knob here, so we can just listen to the sibilance itself. So there, I guess. And then you have a bit of shaping as well. Suck the sibilance sausage. Suck the sibilance sausage. Suck the sibilance sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. There you go. It's really as simple as that, guys. A very effective and easy to use plugin indeed. At two, Fab Filter Pro DS. Pro DS takes on, would you believe it, DSing with the usual intuitive, easy to use, and straightforward operation that we've all come to associate with Fab Filter and their wares. You can narrow down the range of the operation across the frequencies, dialing compression style controls to reduce the sound with threshold and range parameters, add a sidechain input, and operate in both white and split band modes. With the all-round DSing mode, you can use ProDS as more of a de-harsher, taking the pain out of cymbals and other harsh material. Okay, chums, let's have a bit of a play with FabFilter Pro DS. Um, I got a bit of a ride cymbal here, let's take a listen. Oh my god, it's harsh. Uh, let's see what putting the default setting of uh, DS on it does. Okay, cool, we can control the amount of DSing here. And we can choose the frequency range that it's affecting here. Oh lordy, oh crikey. Oh man, okay, let's get rid of that. Very good. Uh, we should really put it in all round mode if we're uh, going to be working on something that isn't a single vocal. And we can muck about with the range. That's doing it a lot. That's not doing it much. And we can also change the look ahead time too. Ooh. So you can shape stuff in quite an interesting way, as well as just doing all your standard vocal stuff. And there's a side chain if you want to get really technical and crazy. So yeah, Pro DS, a fab plugin from your fab filter boys. And at number one, it's Aero 4 DS by Akisonus. And here's the counterpart to the Pro version mentioned earlier. The standard edition of the Aero Diesa takes those S sounds out of vocals with the simple twist of your knob, letting Acusonus's intelligent algorithms do the work while you sit there in a smug sense of self-satisfaction. What's more, it currently has a price tag of a mere £47. Turning up the big knob is really all that's needed to make short work of SE sounds in well-recorded audio material, but you can further refine what's going on under the hood by selecting narrow, normal, and broad modes, and engaging the intense mode. Plus, there's AB operation for comparing different setups, so you can hopefully save your tired ears. Okay, so here's the entry-level version of the DSA by Acusonus. It's very reasonably priced and it's very simple to use. Let's check it out now, you funk soul brother. Uh, we got a vocal here, of course. Suck the sibilant sausage. And you just turn up the knob as we did before. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. The knob does basically the same stuff, but also 
Uh, you've got various filtery modes here, so let's check them out. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. Suck the sibilant sausage. So you do get a bit of a different tone there, and you can engage the intense mode. Uh, if you want to give that a try, why not? Suck the sibilant sausage. 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 I mean, you are getting a real, very fine degree of uh, control over the sounds. You may not really hear a difference there, depending on what you're listening on. And also, it's worth pointing out, there's a different thing. So you can actually kind of like solo what's getting removed. Ooh. So eliminating all those harsh, unwanted frequencies. Also, got to give a bit of a shout out to the uh, plosive plugin that Accusonus do, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, if you're having trouble with those P and B sounds, then uh, I suggest you uh, give that a go as well. It's sick. Well, the demon of sibilance has been tamed and we've survived to fight another day. I mean, I really do feel that this has been an emotionally bonding experience for both of us. I'd like to cash in on that now by asking you to hit that subscribe button and tap my tiny little bell to join us next time we go on a Sonic adventure. Peace.